Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be vlogging again. I'm gonna be doing an interior design day in my life, but finals week edition, but actually this time because my last one, I feel like was just me sitting down, talking, giving you random tips. But this one, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys throughout my day because my portfolio review is this Tuesday and today is Sunday and I have a lot to get done between now and then. So I made a little to-do list to make sure everything gets done. So here's what's on it. First, I have to complete some rendering for one of my classes we had to create a design journal and we had to do 28 one page papers 14 had to be about an interior design related article and the other 14 had to be about a designer or a design firm so those are all done but in the journal we also had to include eight renderings so my teacher put up I believe 20 renderings from different designers and we just have to copy them just to improve and practice with our hand rendering because I believe the class that assigned this journal is the last class where I'm hand rendering so I think the majority of the rest of my time in college is going to be all computer work so i'm really sad because it's actually kind of fun to hand render it is definitely very time consuming but i'm really glad that i was able to get a few classes in because it's a really nice skill to have and then also for that design journal i have to design the title page and also the page layout so that way i could just input all my information all my renderings into it and be done with it and then the only other thing i have to do today is i have a meeting with a few of my classmates at seven we decided just to get together and critique each other's final posters give each other feedback constructive criticism and also if any of us forgot something that had to be on the poster we can mention it there i'm just super excited and my plan is to get all this stuff dealing with the design journal done before that meeting so it's one o'clock so i have six hours i think i could do it I'm gonna have to really hustle, but I think I could do it. But before we start anything, I really want a bagel. So we're gonna head over to a local bagel shop, get some food, and then we have to grind. So as I'm driving to the bagel place, I decided that I wanted to talk to you guys about a comment I received that actually relates back to what I said this morning. So I realized that everything I had on my to-do list might seem like a crazy amount of work and really stressful. And some people might be like, oh my God, do I really know what I'm getting myself into when I'm getting into interior design? And a comment I received on a video was basically that someone heard that with interior design, you get a lot of sleepless nights. Like you don't get any sleep. It's a lot of work. It's stressful. And honestly, I feel like that applies to any major. Like I feel like that shouldn't really be I mean I guess it should be a determining point but if you really like it then it really won't seem like work like yes a huge part of interior design is embellishing the space like decorating it putting in pieces that will create a better flow in the house create better functionality overall but decorating is a huge part and people are be like that's not even that hard like oh pick a cushion color or whatever the thing is like you don't understand how many trial and error it takes to come up with final designs like you might have a design in mind like for example I had a design in mine for my final put it together it looked hideous like all the textures together didn't go well at all it just looked bland and that's the thing you might think something looks good or will blend well together but until you actually see it you don't really know so i'm home now and i've actually been home for the past couple of hours i've been working on these renderings it's currently at 3 45 so i have three more hours to work on these before my meeting but really quick i wanted to go back to the rant i was on i feel like i was getting really into the conversation and i didn't want to come off mean in any way i feel like my main point was just like if you really like interior design after doing your research reading more about the career the workload really shouldn't play a huge factor because honestly every major has a bunch of work but if this is something that makes you happy go for it of course like i get being curious like the person who asked probably was just like is this like a huge workload like is what they've been hearing true and yes i've had had many sleepless nights even first semester of freshman year and i wasn't even in any of my interior design classes yet but it's just like for me my goal is to always put out my my best work like I never want to put out something or present something that I'm not happy with so it can be very time consuming but I feel like let's just hone it down the main point is if it makes you happy go for it and trust me it'll be worth it in the end so I think I'm just going to insert a few little montages I have to work on this one I'm currently about to ink it this is in pencil I'll show you what it's supposed to look like it's supposed to look like this oh my gosh the ring light and then the computer light is not really working too well so I'll insert a few montages and hopefully we will be done with this by seven. Mm. 
So this just might be me and like I can't really see but when I ink things so basically I like to sketch things first in pencil but this specific piece looked like it was in pen and I'm trying to match the medium as best as possible. So I tried to trace it just with the pencil but I literally could not see any of the lines I drew through the paper. So instead I went over the whole thing with pen and I'm gonna go over it again on a fresh piece of paper. Also update, I just had my meeting with my classmates and it was really good. We realized we forgot some things, so we're definitely gonna add those. But let's ink this and then we gotta color it in. But I already picked out the colors. I feel like that's one of the hardest things is like picking out the markers that match the best. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get everything done by seven, but it's okay. I'm pretty much close to done and I'd rather just take my time with it than rush. So let's get this done. Let's keep working. I might need to go to Duncan to get another matcha because I'm getting really tired and that is not good. everyone it is currently the next day it is 10 30 in the morning i finished those renderings last night and the only thing i have to do today that i didn't get done yesterday is to figure out the design for like the title page and the pages of my design journal but i have something in mind and i'm actually really excited i want to do kind of like a black and white with hints of neutrals in the design i have an idea hopefully it works out but my boyfriend actually just bought me this muffin it's a cranberry nut muffin from the bagel shop that i went to yesterday and i am starving so i'm about to eat this but i just completely forgot to close out this video i'm editing it right now so i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys like this video and if you have any other video suggestions please comment them down below because after the eighth i'm free i'm done with school so i could do like i don't know i want to do more fun videos i feel like is what i'm trying to say because recently i've been having to do like really quick ones because finals and vlogmas is really stressful but we are getting it done like i am not slacking on this so once i'm done i'm gonna be like full youtube mode so if you guys have any requests then definitely let me know down below and with that being said don't forget that every comment like and view helps me get one step closer to the goals i have for this channel and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>